What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create pricing tables just like this using WP Bakery WordPress plugin. So, pricing table is an element that you can apply into a box your membership name, the who is for, the price, the period, the call to action button to purchase it and some features, okay, into an elegant way. How to do this using WP Bakery is what you're gonna learn in this video. But before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours who have no idea how much it helps us, because it brings daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics, not just internet on the site's favor. So let's get this started. Very first thing to do is navigate your WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menu. I'm gonna assume that you already have the WP Bakery plugin installed on your site, okay? If not, let me know into the comment section below so I can help you. But Move to Pages and hover mouse over it. You can click on Add New Page in the case that I want to create a new page for your pricing, or you can go to our page and find the page where you would like to apply this element. Okay, I'm gonna create a new page. After loading this, you're gonna click into this button, WP Bakery Page Builder. Then you're gonna have two options: back end editor and front end editor. We're gonna explore both, but I prefer to start into the back end to make it simpler. Enter a page title, can be for example pricing, now you can choose theme layout and add element into this button right here. After move to content and search for a widget called pricing table, here we go, click on it and now we have the pricing table preset. We're gonna explore every single part of this but let's save change. Okay, and let's preview the page. So here is the result we got. We would like to have three different pricings, three different pricing plans on our site. So let's divide this into columns. So we're gonna hover my mouse over this section right here into the raw and change this for the three columns layout, just like this. Now I'm gonna hover my mouse over the pricing table element and click into this copy icon to copy and I'm gonna make two copies. I'm gonna drag this, drop into the second column, drag this and copy into the third column. Now let's reveal the result we got into the preview. Can you see? Now we have three columns with three pricing styles. Let's customize the first one. We can hover our mouse over pricing table, click into this pencil icon and screw it up. We have the heading, can be growth, but I'm gonna change it to starter. We can use a custom font in the case that I want for this, okay? Up to you. Sub heading for business, no, for bloggers, for example. The currency, you can apply our country currency. The price. the period per month, per year, and the features, okay? Features must be into a list, okay? Just like this. If you want to add a new one, type enter and you're gonna be listed. Screw it down, we can customize the marker color. What is the marker color? This color is right here. You can add bottom or not. You can apply CSS animations, apply CSS class or an element ID. Now we have the bottom tab. Click on it. Get now can be your bottom text. Okay? Get now. But you can customize this. Now we need to enter in your L. Copy the URL, select your L, enter the URL right here. You can make it open to a new tab or make it new follow. Click on set link. Now we have the classic style, the modern, the flat, the outline. We have a couple of bottoms styles. The shape of the bottom can be customized and the color of the bottom. You can even customize this using CSS in the case that you want. We can change the bottom size and the alignment of the bottom, okay? Now we have the design options to play with spaces. After doing our change, click on save change. Let's preview and see the results we got. 
No? Here we go. Now, let's move to the middle column. I think it would be better if I make this column more. We can change the marquee colors, maybe to a um, pink one. This can be growth for business. The price is okay. We can add a button. Now this button, I would like to make it bigger. So instead of classic blue, I would like it to be violet and the bottom gonna be bigger, just like this. We can apply any icon to the bottom in the case of the one. We can set the bottom for widget or not, or apply an icon. If you set yes, we can enter the icon from left or from right, and you can select an icon from this list right here. Let's preview the chains. Fancy, right? And you can continue customizing in the way that you want to apply all the features that you need. And that is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to choose the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the Visual Motor Borderless plugin to gain widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site using Elementor or Gutenberg or Enzo WordPress team, the best free WordPress team that can start to customize your site in the way that you want our growth.net platform, a place where you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts, and our sites.gallery, that is a place where we can, a CSS gallery where you can submit your blog, your app, your landing page, your game, anything can be promoted right here, and it's free, and it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and i see you tomorrow. All the best!